let's shift topics here. Um, when we talk about nutrients in a plant-based diet, there's a lot of confusion about whether or not a plant-based diet can actually supply all of the nutrients that are necessary for normal, uh, adequate metabolism. Okay. Iodine is one of those. Okay. We, you know, especially when you're not eating uh, salt, especially if it's iodized salt, your intake of iodine can go down. So is iodine a nutrient of concern on a plant-based diet? Uh, short answer. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, well, very perceptive question and a very important one. Uh, iodine is absolutely essential for the thyroid gland in our neck to be able to make uh, this vital hormone called thyroxine. Every molecule of thyroxine has four atoms of iodine on it, and there has to be iodine in your diet to allow your thyroid gland to make thyroxine. And I think when I run into these long-term vegans who, have, Doc, I've been vegan 10 years and my energy level is going down. I don't have the zip that I used to. In a number of them, uh, and I think maybe a significant number, what we're really looking at is subclinical hypothyroidism from iodine deficiency. And uh, these folks uh, are showing the effects of that. So I think it's a real phenomenon. Plus iodine is involved in other uh, reactions in the body as well. So there's no question. We all need to make sure we have an assured iodine source in our diet. So uh, what to do? Uh, a couple of places in the diet to get it. Um, iodine is, used to be in the soils and, uh, and root vegetables take up iodine, green leafy vegetables take up iodine if the iodine's in the soil. So if you're eating lots of carrots and beets and, uh, and turnips and root vegetables and lots of dark leafy greens, if the soils are healthy, if these are organically raised, raised vegetables where there's lots of, uh, uh, lots of nutrients being plowed back in the soil, Want to have your uh, uh, have your iodine needs met just by a healthy plant based diet? If there's any question, get your iodine level checked, and um, the the uh, uh, best test is a 24 hour urine collection for iodine. Um, we ought to excrete about 100 micrograms of iron every 24 iodine of every 24 hours. And uh, if you're excreting less than that, it means your body's holding on to it. So uh, that's one thing that can be done. Blood tests are also give you an indication as well. Um, but uh, so eating big salads and lots of steamed greens and root vegetables should supply most everybody uh, on a plant-based diet, supply their iodine needs. But uh, some folks uh, aren't eating those kind of vegetables or their vegetables might be grown in iodine poor soil. Uh, what are other sources? One, of course, is anything that comes from the sea, uh, sea vegetables, uh, you can get organic sea vegetables. Uh, uh, and the three that I like are wakame, arame, and dulse. Wakame, W-A-K-A-M-E. Uh, and you can buy packages of it at the National Food Store. Um, uh, you take a gob of it, a couple of tablespoons, put it in fresh water, let it soak for a few hours, and put that gob into your soup or your salad two, three times a week. Uh, so that would be a great iodine source. Um, Arame, A-R-A-M-E, um, same thing. It's the, uh, uh, it's the uh, green um, uh, sea vegetable you see, get at the Japanese restaurants. And I, I like it, very tasty. Again, throw it in your soup or in your salad. And dulse, a bit salty there, but a bit of salt, a bit of, salt, a bit of dulse. Uh, on your soup or your salad uh, is also a good iodine source. Um, kelp has lots of iodine uh, and you can use kelp, but it has so much iodine uh, that you can, if you just flood your thyroid with iodine, you'll actually suppress its ability to make thyroxine. More is not better when it comes to iodine and, and dulcer. So that's why dulce is sold in shaker powders, uh, containers, and just a couple of sprinkles of, of dulce powder on your salad two, three times a week uh, would be all that you need. Don't be eating the handfuls of dulce there. Don't be taking kelp tablets or anything like that. Way too much iodine. Um, so those are the three natural plant sources. And it may be against the, uh, the orthodoxy here at True North, but um, uh, I think a tiny little pinch uh, of, of uh, iodized salt on your vegetables right at the table. Uh, I think for most folks, unless you've got runaway high blood pressure, uh, I think it's acceptable. It really doesn't have any adverse uh, effects I'm aware of. We're talking about a pinch, an eighth of a teaspoon, a sixteenth of a teaspoon, literally a pinch. And 
Uh, people say, well, you know, we threw away our salt shakers. Actually, that's the one place you have control over uh, the salt in your diet. At the restaurant, it's already in the tomato sauce. You have no control in the processed foods. Uh, but a little pinch of salt at the table, you get, because the granules are on the surface of the vegetable, uh, you get a big salty hit uh, uh, when you put the vegetables in your mouth for very little actual salt. And so some iodized salt, uh, I think, is an appropriate, uh, again, a pinch a couple times a week. Um, people say, by the way, those folks who are doing this, well, I use sea salt, so there's going to be iodine and sea salt. Actually, no. Uh, you would think that uh, sea salt has iodine, but it doesn't. And the reason why is from, uh, from high school chemistry on the periodic table there, uh, uh, you have the halogen col uh, column, you see chlorine there. Uh, well, in the swimming pool, you can smell chlorine coming off the water because chlorine evaporates, it's volatile. Well, two squares below chlorine is iodine. Uh, iodine is a halogen as well. And it's volatile as well. And how do they make sea salt? They take big trays of seawater and put them out in the hot sun to evaporate off the water to leave the salt crystallized behind. And as the, as the water evaporates in the hot sun, so does the iodine. And as a result, uh, standard sea salt does not have any iodine. You can purchase iodized sea salt where the iodine has been added back in. So if you want to use a pinch of iodized sea salt, uh, I think that's okay. Unless you've got runaway high blood pressure, then, then don't be doing that. So, um, uh, so there are some multivitamins. Dr. Furman has taken out the evil things out of his vitamins and toned down um, all the, uh, the amounts of everything else in there. Um, he's, his would be the only ones I, I recommend. I do not have any financial connection with Dr. Furman. But he does have a little 150 micrograms of iodine in his uh, multivitamins. So that might be another, uh, another source, but don't be buying the, uh, uh, the uh, standard multivitamins. They have way too much uh, uh, of these substances that build up to high levels there. Um, so those are the three main plant-based sources, either the sea vegetables, a pinch of iodized salt, or, or a, uh, an appropriate uh, um, supplement.